Hi, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about how to start first. You, you know, you, you drill up. This got to be step number one. Choose the size of your crochet. And probably her, put inside. Bingo! There you go. This gotta be my drill logs, you know, after you know retooting and you know using the crochet. If you do wanna follow my steps, here gotta be the guideline, right? So always go about growing your hair first. It could be nine months, ten months, twelve months, whatever you know the, the duration is, you know, it has to be minimum first, nine months. This gotta be nine months first, that gotta be the minimum. If you do want your hair to be hanging after you in the crochet, Always go about going one year or one year, six months. The value is gonna depend on your hair type. If you go like if you are a person of really straight hair type, you're gonna be you're gonna be okay just fine, you know, with one year. And if you ask someone with my hair type, like a curly hair type, always go about one year, six months, or maybe up to one year, eight months, then you know, whenever you do use the crochet, your hair is gonna be hanging around. Before day one of your locking journey, what you gotta do first is to wash your hair. Properly wash your hair first, you know, remove any dry you know oil into your hairs or any sort of you know chemical greasy chemical into your hairs then day after that you know go about starting you know, your rituals then before starting the rituals do not put any oil into your hairs just use your natural hairs as the way they are you know use the crochet make it way more tighter you know, and more and more firmer you're gonna get instant dreadlocks and you want to be able to be washing them on the spot if you do want again wash them right but i don't see the point of someone washing just who just washed the hair you Today, and after she drill off, she still want to wash his hair today, unless you didn't wash it properly. But always make sure you use like warm water. Warm water is gonna be you know getting rid of the dry oil into your hairs. In this way, whenever you know you, you look up your hairs, your hair is gonna be much cleaner, just like the way mine are. Step number two gotta be your portions. Here we go again, you know, I see some of these people on YouTube, you know, they got like a bigger, you know, uh, portion, they got bigger dry. They wanna try you know, and make them like a uh, smaller dry. I see them doing some palm rolling like that. That's not gonna help you, right? The only way you can get a smaller dread is from day one of your locking journey, right? So like right now in today's is my day one. So why the first by using a smaller section with smaller portions so that my whenever my dread reach six months from now to up to six months, my dread are not gonna be big, they're not gonna be that really small, but it's just gonna be like a medium size and you know and really good and nice, right? But you only can do that from the day one if you go about you know, using smaller section and smaller portion on your hair. Y'all guys see my section, right? So if you go about doing this way, you're gonna be able to be getting, getting the best result out of it. But if you trust me, if you do go about you know, using a bigger section and bigger portion, that's gonna be the direction you're gonna be giving to your hair. So even in the future, if you wanna try you know, and put it into smaller portions, it's not gonna work, it's gonna be just wasting your time. Unless you're gonna take some scissors, put inside, you know, cut it off, put into smaller, smaller part, but you're gonna be losing your hair, it's, you're gonna be damaging your hair. So, you know, uh, prevention is, is, is better than cure. Always make sure first, Prevent this from happening right from day one of your locking, you know, journey, right? Step number three, after, you know, doing the crochet of your hairs, you're going to have to wait two weeks before you're going to start, you know, washing your hairs, right? Then after two weeks, you're going to be able to be washing your hair maybe three times in a week or maybe twice in a week. That was all about in today's video. If you are going to like the video, click on the like button, share, you know, and subscribe, you know, and leave your comments on how do you feel about everything into the video. If you did not like the video, it's okay, it's never mind. Just make me feel, or drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you didn't like about the video so in the future I can be improving it, right? And always make sure you ask your questions. I'm gonna be here to give you guys an answer, right? Thank you.